بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين This video is devoted to a, another author, a reading list of his books and that author is none other than Izutsu Toshihiko or Toshihiko Izutsu Izutsu is the family name in um, Japanese and other Southeast Asian sort of convention. The family name is put first. So in Japan, he would be known as Izutsu Toshihiko, but in America, outside of Japan, his books carry the name Toshihiko Izutsu, with Izutsu as the family name coming second. I think he is truly one of the most interesting and one of the most erudite and qualified um, non-Muslim scholars uh, to write on Islamic studies. In fact, um, I think that in some cases his books are um, actually the best that have ever been written on the topic, and I don't think that anything comparable will be written um, after his death. He died in 1993 at the age of uh, 79, he was extremely erudite. He was a linguistic prodigy. He knew no less than 34 languages. Um, so his understanding of Arabic was that of uh, a very accomplished scholar of the language. In fact, Izutsu Sensei, Sensei is the Japanese word for teacher and professor. If you're involved in the martial arts, you might have Heard it. It's not just a karate teacher, but sensei is the sense of like professor. So Izutsu Sensei actually has written, actually done the the um, stand the translation of the Quran in the Japanese language is considered standard. Here it is in three uh, little <laughs> parts. Um, so he was an accomplished scholar of the Arabic language. And I think it's very interesting. I remember when I visited uh, Japan, um, I visited, I've been to Japan many times, but on one occasion I was there um, for a conference uh, on uh, Koyasan, on Mount Koya, which is the headquarters of Shingo Mikyo, or esoteric Buddhism, at least one of the major sects, if not the most important sect of esoteric Buddhism in Japan, Shingo, and the other one being Tendai. At any rate, I was at a conference at um, Koyasan University, and uh, a person I met there uh, named Tom Dreitlein, um, Aijo is his Buddhist, uh, Shingon Buddhist name, he's a Buddhist priest and scholar. He, in fact, told me that the standard um, grammars and language, uh, you know, introductory works uh, in Japanese for, for, for example, Hindustani, for Persian, uh, for Arabic, uh, for Sanskrit, and in fact, by uh, Izutsu. Um, so he was a very serious scholar and linguist. Um, I am very impressed with his works. Uh, I also had the good fortune of having a um, student when I was teaching at the American University in Cairo from Japan, who's actually, whose father was actually a student of uh, Izutsu. His father is a Sanskritist, um, and uh, my student was uh, Makoto Sawai, who teaches at the um, Tenri University in Japan. Um, he studied uh, uh, Ibn Arabi with me as, as MA. At any rate, turning, <laughs> getting back to uh, Izutsu, when I say that Izutsu was uh, really a peerless scholar and that he has authored works which I don't think ever will be equaled and certainly not surpassed, his most Im impressive book is Sufism and Taoism, a study of key philosophical, a comparative study, excuse me, of key philosophical concepts. This is one of the most interesting books on Ibn al-Arabi uh, that you will ever find. And he begins with Sufism, and he means the Sufism of Muhyiddin Ibn al-Arabi. Um, I have done a lot of work on Ibn al-Arabi. I did a critical edition of the Fusus al-Hikam, or the Bezels of Wisdom, which is an extremely important sort of summation of the teaching of uh, Wahdat al-Wujud and al-Insan al-Kamil, the perfect man, and um, the uh, Theophany of the Divine Names, uh, at tajalli by Muhyiddin ibn al-Arabi. And this is uh, based on the original language sources on that, on that very book, The Bezels of Wisdom, especially as in the commentary of Abd al-Razak al-Kashani. 
And he then bases himself, in terms of the Chinese, on the original classical Chinese sources, namely the Dao De Ching and the Chuangzi. So this is a very serious book. Um, in footnotes, he has, you know, he, he footnotes in classical, uh, some of his, uh, he glosses things in the original classical Chinese. Uh, this book is, in fact, uh, so important that um, it, there is a translation of it into Persian. Uh, it's, I have a copy here. I purchased this in uh, uh, Tehran in 2003. The translation is by Muhammad Javad Gauhari. And it's uh, Sufism or Taoism in Persian. And yeah, do you want to? Mm -hmm. It has a really nice artwork, too. You know, the um, book cover art in Iran is, is phenomenal. Um, this is published by Intisharat al Ruzena, but at any case, um, you know, really serious contemporary Islamic philosophy is done in Iran. And the fact that, they, that, that people that are thought is important enough to translate Izutsu into Persian, I think, uh, says a lot. Um, if you just want to read one book exposing you to, <laughs> excuse me, the scholarship of Izutsu in Islamic philosophy, then I would recommend Creation and the Timeless Order of Things. This is a collection of essays by uh, Izutsu Sensei on... Uh, various subjects in Islamic philosophy. It has a foreword by William C. Chittick, uh, it, and that's important that it has that foreword because William C. Chittick, who is a disciple and student of Sayyid Hussein Nasr, um, Chittick and his wife, who is also a disciple of Sayyid Hussein Nasr, a student of his, namely, uh, his wife is Japanese, uh, Sachiko Murata, both of them studied with uh, Izutsu um, as well. Uh, Izutsu spent a lot of time in Iran in the time of the Shah. And it, it carries a, an introduction, uh, sorry, a foreword by uh, Chittick. And there's an interesting quotation here, which I think we should, uh, it's worth reading. Chittick says, and I quote, Once we asked Professor Izutsu, uh, he means he's telling the story in the context of classes that he and others took with uh, Professor Izutsu. He said, Once we asked Professor Izutsu how he ended up studying Islamic texts. He replied that as a child, he had been forced by his father to perform zazen. Zazen is seated Zen meditation. And he had been intensely repelled by the experience. As a result, he decided to enter into a field that was as far away as possible from the Zen approach to reality. And hence, he chose linguistics. He set out to learn several foreign languages, and by the age of 18, he was teaching Russian at the university level. At the first opportunity that presented itself, he also learned Arabic, not to mention Persian, Turkish, and several European and Indian languages. From the study of Arabic, it was only a short distance to his careful analysis of the Quran's linguistic structure. And uh, I think that's a very interesting quote. Um, this Quran, the linguistic structure of the Quran um, that uh, Izutsu began to study was published in the form of ethico-religious concepts in the Quran. Um, this is a very interesting uh, semantic analysis. Um, of course, Izutsu approaches this study as a linguist, so he has a very close attention to language. And, uh, you know, if, if you're a Muslim, uh, as I am, you may not agree with everything that he has to say in this, but it is a very uh, interesting work, nevertheless, um, from a linguistic point of view. It's very thorough. Another book along these lines, also devoted to the Qur'an, from a semantic kind of point of um, semantic perspective, is God and Man in the Qur'an, Semantics of the Qur'anic Weltenschwang. Now, these are reprints. Um, I acquired these when I lived in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur, from the Kino Kunya bookshop at the KLCC shopping mall on the fourth floor. Um, so these are reprints by the IBT, the Islamic Book Trust in Kuala Lumpur, uh, but I think they are readily available in the United States as well. Um, 
also published by IBT is uh, Islamic Book Trust Kuala Lumpur, or reprinted by them, is Izutsu's semantic analysis of the notion of belief in Islamic theology. It's called The Concept of Belief in Islamic Theology, a Semantic Analysis of Iman and Islam. Um, maybe we should try and put a picture of Izutsu Sensei somewhere in the video, uh, but there is a nice photo of Izutsu Sensei on the back of this. I don't know if you can even focus in on that. Looking very distinguished there in his kimono. Interestingly enough, when I uh, had the opportunity to visit uh, Tehran back in 2003, I made a visit to the, uh, what is it called in English? It's um, In Persian, it would be Anjumane Asaro Mafakhire Meli, um, the Organization for Cultural um, national cultural works or heritage or something like this. In other words, it's a place that publishes um, scholarly uh, works um, that have to do with the intellectual uh, heritage of, uh, of <coughs> Islamic Iran. And there is a kind of a gallery there with photos of scholars who made great contributions and uh, were honored with some sort of, uh, I think, maybe some kind of an award or some sort of form of recognition from that organization. And Izutsu is the only, only non-Muslim person there. There's this huge picture of him, again, wearing this kimono, and he looks quite uh, distinguished. And uh, when I visited at the time, the institute was run, was run by um, someone named Mahdi Muhaqiq, who was a friend and close scholarly collaborator with uh, Izutsu, um, because in addition to these scholarly studies in the English language, Izutsu was also involved with Professor Mahdi Muhaqiq in preparing critical editions of important philosophical works uh, in Arabic. So one of the most important of these was um, the Sharh Ghurar al-Fara'id by Mullah Hadi Sabzavari, which is known more colloquially in Persian as the Sharhe Manzume or Sharhe Manzume Hikmat. And this was published jointly between the University of Tehran and the University of McGill's Institute of Islamic Studies. It was a joint relationship back in the day, and Izutsu was on the faculty of uh, McGill as well as teaching classes at what at the time was known as the Imperial Academy of Iranian Philosophy, uh, which had the direct patronage of the Empress of Iran at the time, known as the Shah Banu, um, and it was run by Sayyid Hussein Nasr. We will be doing a video on Sayyid Hussein Nasr's writings as well uh, very soon. So these three sort of semant uh, uh, linguistic studies sort of go together, God and man in the Quran, ethical religious concepts in the Quran, and the concept of belief in Islamic theology. Um, there's also a very interesting treatise of his which I think is somewhat dated now. And again, somehow all these things are being reprinted in Malaysia. This is from something called T.O.P., the Other Press, T.O.P., <laughs> in Kuala Lumpur. It's also a reprint. The original was published back in the 60s by Keio University in um, Japan. I, I saw the original of this um, uh, in the library of Indiana University Bloomington many, many years ago. And that is the book Language and Magic, Studies in the Magical Function of Speech. This is a fascinating, fascinating study, especially uh, from the point of view of a linguist. Finally, it's ironic that Izutsu tried to get away from Zen Buddhism uh, by studying Islam, by language and then going to Islamic studies. And so it's very ironic that he ended up publishing a book, the original edition of this was actually published by the Imperial Iranian, what was called Imperial Iranian Academy of Philosophy at the time. Um, and I think it had an intro of Hussein Nasr. Um, is there one here? No, there isn't. I may be mistaken, maybe Nasr Dem. I don't know, but it's called Toward a Philosophy of Zen Buddhism. This too is a reprint by pra uh, Pragya or you know Prajna Press, Pragya Press in um, Boulder, Colorado, published in... Um, uh, 82. This is uh, probably the best book I have ever read on Zen. Um, yes, there are many books on that topic. I think this is probably the best book. Um, others may disagree with me, but at least it's written from the point of view of someone who is thoroughly grounded in the text and knows all of the languages. Um, so he references 
classical Chinese works, Japanese works, Sanskrit. I mean, when he quotes the Heart Sutra, you know, what's known in Japanese as the Hanya Shingyo, he quotes it in Sanskrit. Um, so Izutsu is an extremely interesting scholar uh, because of his linguistic erudition and mastery of so many tongues. He was ideally suited to study uh, Islamic philosophy and uh, able to access its original sources in both Arabic and Persian and produce some of the most interesting studies that are out there in the field. Uh, so I hope that um, people will be inspired to uh, take a look at the writings of Izutsu. Um, and again, you, these are all still published. They're available. Uh, so I hope that people will do that. Thank you very much for watching.